Good morning. How you all doing this morning? Good. At least Brody's doing good. Yeah. I hope. Now, I've got something. Are you guys good at following directions? Yeah? Good. So I'm going to have you do some things. I'm going to have you do exactly what I do. Can you copy me what I do? Do you think you can do it? All right. So I, the first thing I want you to do, I want you to put your hand on your ear. I see Sam can't do it, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, take your hand off your ear. Can you clap? Very good. Can you put your hands in the air? Very good. Now I'm going to have you copy what I do without me saying it. You think you can do that? Oh, how could you see my hands up if you had your eyes closed? All right. Now, now I'm going to have you do another thing. So this is what I'm going to... This time, I'm going to use my voice with the instructions, okay? So uh, when I tell you the instructions, what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes really tight, okay? Now I want you to put your hands over your eyes. All right? Put your hands over your eyes. No peeking. No peeking. And when I tell you to open your eyes, then we're going to do some things that I'm not going to say anything. I just want you to do what I'm doing, okay? So no peeking. As soon as I say open your eyes, I want you to open your eyes and do what I'm doing. All right, open your eyes. Now do what I'm doing. Are you doing what I'm doing? Brody was. <laughs> Why couldn't you do what I was doing? Except Brody. Brody, what were you doing? Oh, it was pretty close to what I was doing. Why couldn't you do what I was doing? Why, Ava? Because you, you were somewhere else. I was someplace else. You're right. It's kind of hard to, to follow what someone's doing if they're not there by you, right? Now, I want to tell you a little story. One time, I got to go way down into the southern part of our country to a, to a state called Mississippi. And you know what? When I went to Mississippi, Mississippi people talk kind of weird. They do. They, they talk kind of weird. Here, Samuel. Shh. They talk kind of weird. And you know what happened after I was there for like two weeks? Guess what happened to me? I started to talk weird. Why do you think I started to talk weird? Is it because everybody else was talking weird? Now, I can't, I, I tried, I tried practicing this morning what they said. Now, the only thing I came up with was, if, if you knew somebody from Texas, they said y'all, or worse, or something like that. Um, but I started to kind of talk, but I can't do that because I'm not there now. But I remember talking like them. Now, boys and girls, do you know that we can change. Now, one of the things that happened when I went over here, you guys could, well, I wasn't close to you. You couldn't follow what I was doing. And when I went down and started talking weird, I was close to those people down in Mississippi and I started changing and doing what they were doing and talking like they were talking. Do you know that God can change you? Do you know that God can change you too? And one of the ways that God changes us, Samuel, I'm going to hold you because you're climbing all over the place. One of the ways that God changes us is by us being close to him. By spending time with God, he can change us. Now, he, does he change us in bad ways or good ways? Good ways. He shares his love with us. He shares his word with us. He lets us know that we are his children. Um, and you do that. Do you know this morning? Do you know that you're close to God in worship? We just heard his word. Do you know when you go to Sunday school? You can sit by Isaac. Okay. When you go to Sunday school or Lutheran day school or vacation Bible school, you're close to God. When you're at home and you say your prayers, you're close to God. And he does something amazing. He changes you. And he changes you really, really in a good way, doesn't he? Now, you know what happened when I went to that state called Mississippi and I started talking funny? I went home. 
And guess what happened after I left Mississippi? Do you think I kept talking funny? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I stopped talking like they did because I was away from them. Boys and girls, if you're away from God, if you're away from church, if you're away from Sunday school, if you're not praying at home or, or doing devotions, you know what? We can change kind of in a different way. And we're away from God. And that's not a good thing, is it? It's not a good thing. But if we spend regular time with God, we will be changed. Not from the things that we do, but from what God does and who God is. And we'll become more and more like him. Can you fold your hands? Let's have a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us ways to spend time with you. And we ask that you change us so that we may lead others so that they too may also know you. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, thanks for coming up. You can go back and sit with your families.